Now people light fireworks on the first day of the first month of the new year and can continue throughout the spring festival, symbolizing the expulsion of unwanted things and welcoming the arrival of the new year. Chinese New Year, of course, the new year follows the lunar calendar and is also called the spring festival. The Chinese New Year is associated with several myths and customs, including interesting auspicious beliefs. Speaking of rhymes, poetry is a good starting point for introducing Chinese traditions during the spring festival. On the morning of the first day of the new year, many families burn incense to greet heaven and earth, worship the god of the year, and make offerings to their ancestors. It is one of the largest week-long festivals in China, showcasing the essence of Chinese culture and embodying traditional beliefs. The new year is also celebrated in countries that have been influenced by China or that have similarities with China. In ancient times, people used loud noises like fireworks to hunt a monster called Yen that wanted to harm people and livestock. This year, in 2020, it will be January 25th. If you have the opportunity to attend the celebrations, you should experience it at least once in your life. By exploring the various important historical traditions, you will gain a better understanding of China's rich history and customs that still exist today. In Chinese poetry, a verse is a couple of lines of poetry that follow certain rules. Note that the different regions of China each have their own specific traditions and activities to honor the ancient deities and ancestors. On New Year's Eve, the elders of the family give red envelopes to the younger generation with money prepared in advance. Sometimes the dates of celebration can vary by one day or even an entire lunar cycle due to time, zones, and other variations of the calendar.